at Xavier University of Louisiana um, in New Orleans. And uh, I also got a minor in psychology and Spanish there. And then I went on to Purdue University and got my master's in statistics. And um, now I am a statistician at Abbott Laboratories in, in North Chicago. And I work in the diagnostics division um, where we test medical devices to make sure that they're safe and effective. So that's my first career job and I just started, started in October. All right, sounds great. <laughs> And uh, so if you can tell us what your experience um, as a SAS user has been in your work. Yeah, so I first learned um, SAS in grad school. That's when I was first introduced to SAS and I took um, a programming, a statistical programming and data management course and it was all SAS. Um, but it mostly definitely focused on the on data management. So that was my first uh, exposure to SAS um, in graduate school and then from there I um, in the other coursework like in my methodology course and um, a sampling and survey course and design of experiments we use SAS uh, um, as well and in, in different capacities in each of those courses so um, that's where I learned so it's been like four years now that I've used it use SAS on and off um, Yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, what has been your favorite SAS procedure and why? So um, my favorite SAS procedure would be PROC Mixed and um, I was introduced to it in one of those methodology courses at Purdue, um, but it wasn't until I took um, a consulting and collaboration course at Purdue that I really learned the ins and outs of the uh, proc mixed and uh, just how versatile and flexible it was um, in handling um, mixed data, you know, having fixed and random effects and it's more of the real world flavor of data, right? Um, you know, being interested in both fixed and random effects. So I liked um, its applicability and um, uh, being able to model this data um, and modeling these variance components and, uh, you know, things that we're actually really interested in as, um, as statisticians. So, um, and also being able to model um, different covariance structures. Um, so, yeah, and I think, and it gives um, uh, more accurate estimates, like for standard errors for example. So um, I just really like that it's flexible and um, it's easy to use pretty much with the different statements and um, that is really useful. And um, you know, employers are interested in knowing if you know how to use this, this procedure or at least a, a procedure that can model this, um, these random effects. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. And um, other than that, do you have any closing words or advice on SAS at all? Um, just that I'm still learning, you know, I still have a lot to learn and um, uh, SAS is very useful and uh, very handy definitely for data analysis and um, I'm proud to be a SAS user. Oh, that's great. All right, Kara, <laughs> well, appreciate the time. Thank you so much and uh, Thank wishing you. you Wishing you a great rest of week. Thank you. Same to you. Thanks for your time as well. Thank you. Take care. Okay, thanks. You too. Bye-bye.